will be launched very time, any time in fact, very soon is what has been said. Okay, first of all, to tell our viewers that there has, in fact, the vehicle is safe is what has been said by ISRO. Just now, Professor Somnath has said the vehicle has been held back. Held back is a term that he has used. He's also said that the vehicle is safe, but held back. First of all, there was a delay due to the weather condition, and that's the reason why the launch eventually took, was started. The process actually started at about 8.44 a.m. But the test flight launch is on hold for now. What is the exact reason for this, uh, this launch being on hold? That is something that is going to be examined, is what has been said by ISRO just now. The reason for it is going to be analyzed. And the reason for the vehicle to be held back is something that's going to be examined. And they will, in fact, uh, examine that and then update about what really happened. Why did the vehicle, why was the vehicle held back? Is what Isra said, that is the question that is going to be answered in some time from now. So the Gaganyan test mission, the flight launch has been kept on hold. That's the big story. What is the exact reason for the delay or for the vehicle to be held back? Initially, the delay was because of the weather conditions. That is what was said by ISRO. But now, why has the vehicle been held back? Is there a technical error or is there any other reason? The vehicle is safe, is what ISRO has said. But the launch was stopped. It's on hold that you can see. Shilpa is with us. Shilpa, initially, the launch was delayed because of weather. But then eventually, the countdown started. Whatever is the reason for the vehicle to be held back is a reason we do not know about right now, is what is so said. Well, that's it, Sneha. In fact, the countdown had started and in fact, we are here at the media center and we heard a roaring sound. So we thought that, you know, the vehicle is uh, being lifted off, but that did not happen. Uh, just a short while back, uh, ISRO chairman has given us an update saying that uh, there was something wrong uh, with the ignition. The engine ignition didn't really go off. The vehicle is safe, but there, there was some uh, anomaly that they had observed as far as the ignition is concerned. So now they are, of course, uh, they will proceed towards the site the uh, launch pad one where the vehicle is kept ready uh, to understand what exactly went wrong and they will analyze what went wrong and uh, you know see what can be uh, uh, done uh, but an update on when the launch will be that will be shared only later that is what we've been told already uh, the launch was rescheduled at least twice because of bad weather it's a quite uh, cloudy condition here at uh, Sriharikota today uh, so the launch of course had to be rescheduled at least twice but uh, the, the current uh, uh, error that they had come across it's not because of the weather, but uh, more to do with the engine. Uh, there was something wrong with the engine ignition. That is what uh, we could understand from the command center. Uh, you know, commands that came in. Uh, so they are going to look into what exactly went wrong and uh, an update will be shared later is what uh, the scientists here are telling us. Uh, uh, when exactly the launch would happen, that would be communicated uh, soon. Uh, that is uh, what we're being told. So as of now, uh, the vehicle has not been lifted off. Uh, 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 the mission has not uh, been completed. It, 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 uh, even though the countdown had started, they had observed some kind of error, technical glitches. And that is the reason why now it is has been put on hold uh, and an update of course is expected uh, from ISRO as to what exactly happened. Uh, there is no press conference that, that will take place at this point in time. Uh, so we will have to wait for ISRO to understand uh, and analyze what exactly happened and then of course we will get an update about when the launch will take place. As far as this launch is concerned, what ISRO essentially wanted to test was the performance of the crew module and the crew separation system. Uh, uh, and uh, they wanted to understand, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the the idea was that the vehicle, the rocket would launch from Sriharikota when it reaches an altitude of around 17 kilometers and abort signal would be given. Now that corresponds to the speed of the rocket becoming the speed of the sound. And once the abort signal is uh, given, uh, you know, then the crew module would separate, would detach from the uh, rocket and then parachutes would be deployed. It decelerates and it comes down. It, uh, it, it descends and splashes 
approaches into the Bay of Bengal, where the Indian Navy had stationed its uh, ships and its personnel to retrieve uh, the crew module. Uh, it, it was supposed the landing or the touchdown was supposed to happen around 10 kilometers away from the Sri Harikota coast. Uh, so this was what was planned, but it has not happened because uh, they have encountered a technical glitch, a technical error. There was something wrong with the engine ignition, is what uh, 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 Somnath, uh, Dr. Somnath, of course, just said. So we are, of course, waiting for further updates. Waiting for further updates. They'll actually have to go and examine what really went wrong. However, he did speak about the fact that the vehicle is safe. The engine ignition is uh, has been uh, has failed essentially, is what he uh, suggested. But we are analyzing the situation. We have to go and examine what really happened. But uh, the vehicle is safe. That's at least, uh, in fact, good news coming in from Isro. But this mission, the test mission, has been aborted for the time being. This is Isro's first test mission.